welcome back to True Magazine Unplugged. You're now tuning in with DJ The Queen. It's y'all so lyrical. West West in the back, baby. What, what, what? Man, I'm so excited about this guest that we have on right here. In case you don't know, and you're looking at this handsome young man right here, <laughs> this is Willie B. Everybody, shout out Willie Woo! B. Willie B! Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much for being on the show. No problem. It's just, I'm I'm just so ecstatic. Like you just have no crazy, idea. I remember crazy. when I first met you, I was like, oh snap, what? We talked oh, about Jay Dilla, and you was like, yeah, yeah, right. You're not no Jay Dilla fan. I yeah. was like, what? You don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> Why everybody be doubting you, Queen? Like everybody that be when everybody. I met Mad Lib, he doubt me. He was like, you not, you don't listen to hip hop. I'm like, what? Do I just not look like the hip hop type or what? I don't know. You got the little hat on, so you, you're more convincing now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> With my little sweatshirt right? hanging off my shoulder. Little brown like, sugar. You know, right. brown sugar like the movie. Yeah, I'm thugging right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? So who so, you work with, man? I need to know. I, I'm like learning. I'm new. I'm uh, new to Willie B. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I got to dive in. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Uh, so oh, you're friend. a producer. You, I know you do quite a few things. I heard uh, Itchy Bun. I was listening to it earlier today. That's pretty dope. Thank you. That's super hot. Thank I was you. like, this cat's dope. Oh, Which yeah. one? Which one? The, the, the last one? The last one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. yeah. I really Thank like you. that. So where you from and all that sort of stuff for people that don't know? Right. Um, I'm from Linwood, California. Okay. Yeah, I don't, you know, in Los Angeles, but, you know, I like to say Linwood because it's a small Specific, city. Specific, okay, let it know. <laughs> they have to know. They right. have to know. Exactly. Um, Linwood, California. Um, I'm a producer. Um, <laughs> what, what, what else? What's some I mean, inspirations? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who'd you grow up listening to that inspired uh, the Wheelie B that's today? Um, first, the, you know, you gonna trip. The first the first hip-hop song I ever heard was Boys in the Hood by Easy E. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that was the first. The first? I was the first record. How'd you manage that? And my si- my older sister. My <laughs> older sister's like nine years older than okay. me. Okay. And the funny part about it is that she don't listen to no hip hop anymore. She <laughs> listens to all gospel. So oh, she was wow. just, So it's her fault. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Turn of event. Yeah, but um, you know, um, I say I, I, I was a, I was more into rapping now. That's yeah. the thing. So, um, Ice Cube. I'm starting the West. Ice Cube, Snoop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the most, Dr. Dre. You know what I'm okay. saying? The norm. You know the norm. Yeah. Um, um, but as far as like the ones that touched me, touched me, touched me, other than Ice Cube, was definitely, you know, Tribe. Yeah. Dilla, okay. Um, Jay. Yeah. I mean, it's too many to name. Yeah. It's too many but just off top, them the ones right there. But more so, Tribe and I would say Tribe, Cube, um, Domino. I used to love Oh, Domino. really? <laughs> Uh, Domino, um, Mighty Souls of Mischief. Oh yeah. Um, We're going in now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now you yeah did. Mighty Souls of Mischief. <laughs> um, got Brax excited. <laughs> yeah, Keith Murray. I mean, oh, these I are, love Keith Murray. Yeah, Keith Murray. Uh, you know, Death Squad, yeah. Redman, Wu Tang. That's pretty a diverse set of uh, hip hop hip hop ear we got going on. Yeah. There, so. Even do a die. Do a die crime boss yeah. like yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. I mean if you hear a Willie B track, then you'll hear all of these different influences. Cause I remember I came to the studio mm-hmm. and you playing tracks for me and I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. And you was just looking like, Yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah. This is evolutionary for hip hop. Like it was crazy. crazy. Real mind. Like, I mean, he was using samples that I knew, but he used yeah. them in such a way that it was like unexpected. Real unpredictable, yeah. real like clean, fresh slate. Okay, I love it. I love so it. as a producer. Your mind works. Who was what? Like what was the MC or the the opportunity that said, "Bam, I made it"? Or you know, this it, it can't the Willie B that we see today. Oh, that's easy, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick yeah. Lamar. Okay, <laughs> right hands down. Right easy, Rick Mortis. Yeah, that's the record that made me pop. There it is. Yeah. There you it know, is. So, I mean, really, it was ignorance is bliss. Mm-hmm. But what made me pop pop was Rick Mortis. Right. You know what I mean? So after that, that's when everybody started kind of catching on a little bit. Absolutely. Okay. 